function of x squared, uh, that caret sign makes it makes the number as a, sub, uh, a superscript. And uh, uh, if you have several other things, so say y to the power of uh, x minus 1, you, you need to put braces around like this. And if you want to have a fraction, you can put a fraction with uh, 4 over 5x minus 1, something like this. Uh, see that I'm using curly braces. If you use regular parentheses, it doesn't work. Make sure that when you're grouping things so that uh, the numerator is 4 and the denominator is 5x minus 1, you put the curly braces there. Okay? And you put double uh, dollar sign. And by the way, one thing that you want to do is when you do these things, get rid of this uh, autocorrect because uh, that one messes up with uh, the editor. It's some bug in the uh, blackboard. So let's see what happens if we do this. Submitting. Okay, so let's see. You see how that was rendered as an equation? All right, and uh, there are a bunch of other things you can do. Uh, for example, if you wanted to put a square root, you would do, uh, let me get rid of that. Okay. You would do dollar dollar square root of, say, x squared plus 1. Okay, uh, equals to, and if you want, like, cube root, you can put square root and then put 3 in here with this time it should be uh, the uh, square brackets right there and then uh, of say uh, 6x minus 1 and then uh, if you want you can even put subscripts by a sub this underscore make it into subscript and uh, that's another nice example you see Nice, right?